Hey guys, welcome back to another video and on this one we're going to be building the best Hatterem build for raids on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Starting off with a location, you want to put a waypoint right here and you want to fly over to South Province Area 4 Watchtower and then you just want to make your way over jumping off all these little mountains. Once you get to the very bottom, we're just going to be searching around this area and eventually you will run into one. It is small so keep a close eye out and then you want to catch your Hatena. You will just have to level it up to evolve it so you want to catch one of those. When you do catch it, it will be the Terra type that you need which will be psychic type so you don't have to worry about that and the item we're going to be using is the metronome I'll show you where to get that right now so what you want to do is you want to fly over to Lamentia North once you're here just head in this direction and you'll be looking for the deli bird shop which is right here and then you want to click on battle items and then you want to scroll down until you see the metronome it'll cost you 15,000 so the metronome's a chain item so what it does is if you use a move it will be 100% damage but if you use it again in a row it'll go to 120% then 140 160 and so on until it reaches a maximum of 200% once you come out of the shop turn right and go straight forward there will be a Chansey supply shop looks like this you want to go straight inside there what we're going to do is we're going to get a modest mint for 20,000 which will boost our special attack and reduce our attack as you can see there very high special attack it actually has the second highest special attack on the entire game our EVs are going to go into special attack and HP you're going to want to make sure you have five max IVs as well on everything except attack if you don't know where to get max ivs you want to head into a deli bird shop click on general goods now how it works is you can trade one bottle cap in for one max iv per stat so it will be costing us a hundred thousand to maximize hatteren's stats so if you don't have any buy five of those head over to montenevra once you're here i want you to head straight forward to this guy with an obama snow you speak to him he will ask you if you want to hyper train a pokemon you click yeah you click hatteren then you click bottle caps and we're going to be clicking hp defense special attack special defense and speed speed isn't too important in this case because hatteren is really slow but i like to do speed on all of my pokemon you don't need to do attack though that's just a waste of money now our ability will be magic bounce now any status move that we get hit by we don't actually get hit by it bounces back to the target so that's very nice sick of getting paralyzed and burned every five seconds magic bounce however is a hidden ability so if you do want the hidden ability magic bounce then you will need to get an ability pack which drop from six star raids now our moveset is going to be psychic calm mind charm and draining kiss psychic is going to be our main attacking move it's very powerful it can lower the special defense calm mind is going to raise our special attack and special defense especially good against them special attackers Calm is going to lower their attack by two stages so we can do more damage and set up more and draining kiss will do a little bit of damage if we get in a bind it'll restore our hp as well and we also get stabbed from it so it'll do a bit more damage than usual so psychic and calm minds you will actually learn from level up so you don't need to worry about them however charm and draining kiss you will have to learn through tms if you don't know where to get tms go to any pokemon center it's the green bit you just want to talk to the tm machine and tm number two will be charm you will need 400 lp free azuril fur and free teddy ursa claw let me show you where to get those real quick so to get the azuril fur you want to put a waypoint right here on the map and then you want to fly over to paco path lighthouse and then we're just going to fly over there once you get over here it'll be this little pool right here there'll be a lot of azuril around here you just want to auto battle them and then you can get your azuril fur as for our teddy ursa claw you want to put a waypoint right here and then we're going to be flying over to east province area one near artisan now that we're here we're just going to head over you want to jump up here and on top of here you should find quite a lot of teddy ursa so you just want to take them out and then you can get your teddy ursa claw moving on to our next move it is tm37 draining kiss this will cost us 800 LP, free Igly Buff Fluff, and free Flabebe Pollen. Now to get your Igly Buff Fluff, I want you to fly over to the Pokemon League. Once you're here, I want you to just follow this path until you see Igly Buff. There will be a lot of them here, and then you just want to take them out, and you can get your Igly Buff Fluff. Now to get your Flabebe Pollen, we're going to put a waypoint right here, and then we're going to fly over to North Province Area 3, and then we're just going to run over. Once you reach this path right here, as you continue on the path, you will start to see more and more Flabebe and once you run into one you can just take it out and you will get your flabebe pollen now that i've shown you the raid time to get into some builds we found our first raid it's a five star fighting type frost last let's begin so it's attack and special attack are the same so we're going to start off with charm and then 
bleed into Carmine. The charm will lower their attack by two stages and then we'll use Carmine to up our special attack and special defense both by one stage and then we're going to start using Psychic. Now if this Frostlass was solely a special attacking Pokemon we would use Carmine twice and then start attacking. So we use Psychic for a second time. Let's see how much damage this does. It does quite a lot of damage and we only use Carmine once because its special attack's so high. It's removed negative effects from itself, so its attack is back to normal. That's just in case it has anything like Shadow Claw or anything like that. It's got Shadow Ball, but our special defense is up, so it shouldn't do too much, but it does lower our special defense. We hit it with a Psychic. It does quite a bit of damage, even though it shields up. So it has Curse Body, and our Psychic got disabled, so we're gonna Terrestrialize and use Draining Kiss. We don't really need to Terrestrialize, but I wanna have that option to just switch straight away to psychic from when we get out of our terror we do a little bit of damage but we're gonna get some health back here we got 100 health back more than i expected frost Lash uses shadow ball does quite a lot of damage to us and gets a crit and lowers our special defense we hit it with a draining kiss i was hoping that would break the shield but it does get us to max health hopefully one of the teammates break the shield our psychic is still disabled so we use draining kiss to finish the frost Lash off so it was super effective against us but it didn't really do that much damage to us i don't think we we went under half health so that was good let's get on to the second raid now we found our second five star raid it's a poison type annihilate let's get straight into it this thing can be a pain if it has defiant and you don't play it right so let's see how this goes if it does have defiant i just hope we have no pokemon with intimidate okay good we don't we're gonna start off with a calm mind this will raise our special attack and special defense i think we're gonna have to risk it so we're gonna use charm moment of truth it does have defiant hopefully it hurts itself in confusion it uses outrage for some reason so so that's good. We use Calm Mind again. Uh, we're going to use Psychic. Let's see how much damage this does. Does it do a lot? Please do a lot. Yeah, it does a decent amount. So its shield goes up. We're just going to keep attacking now, getting that um, metronome build and getting our Terror. Hopefully it doesn't decrease its special defense because then it'll gain two stages in attack. We use Psychic again. Does a bit of damage again. We're just chipping away at that shield right now. It steals some of our charge, which is really not good. And then it nearly kills us with a Shadow Claw. So we use Psychic again. Then, uh, it does quite a lot of damage it nearly breaks the shield and annihilate couldn't move because it was paralyzed and then it uses bulk up to raise its attack and defense so we're going to terrestrialize because it is paralyzed we will move first and i'm hoping this finishes the annihilate off annihilate was a really really bad matchup for us but with it using outrage and it being paralyzed we've managed to pull through so we use psychic and we finish it off and the annihilate goes down onto the third raid so we found our third five star raid it's a poison type earthworm let's get straight into it so first turn we're going to use charm so first turn it uses iron head on us does a little bit of damage we're going to use charm because it is super effective against us having a steel type so now it's not doing that much damage against us and second turn we use calm mind to up that special attack and special defense we use calm mind again on turn three so now we're on plus two special attack and plus two special defense the earthworm is burnt from the arcanine so it's not doing as much damage and now we use psychic see how much damage it does it does a lot of damage just under half of its uh, current hp its shield goes up and then it nullifies all the stat changes and abilities on our side and then removes negative effects on its side now it's used coil which ups its attack instead of setting up again i'm going to use psychic so i can try and get that terror so that's our second attack it still does quite a lot of damage even though we lost all our buffs and we're taking chip damage from the sandstorm that it used earlier so we use psychic again it does quite a bit of damage to the shield and then it uses wrap so we'll be taking even more chip damage now we have got our terror but i don't want to use it yet i want to wait till we die so we can come back and do a lot of damage and then it finishes us off with an iron head that's great well it's not great but it's what we expected and we can still win the raid so now we're back we can terrestrialize and then finish it off with a psychic so we have terrestrialize and now we're going to use psychic it should finish it off and it does finish it off oh we did get a crit as well i don't think that mattered though i think it would have finished it off regardless and that's the earthworm down sadly we didn't get any mystica from our free raids if you would like to see the best great tusk build and pokemon scale and violet then click on screen right now and i'll catch you on the next one